poems that were accepted and published in this year's San Diego Poetry Annual. Um, I had two poems published in this year's annual. I'm going to read, oh, I'm going to recite one of them. Um, I've made one, one change. I took out the second line. But uh, it's a poem about a girl that I knew when I was in middle school that passed away when she was 13, 15. Um, her name is Melanie Safia Dev. And this poem is, well, I actually should give you a little bit more background. Uh, the title of the poem is The Memory of Melanie Safia Dev Preserved on an Answering Machine. Um, about six years, maybe uh, five, six years after she passed away, I cleared the voicemail on my message box, and I've had trouble clearing it for many years. And I heard a message from her on the machine many years after she passed, and that was the initial inspiration for the poem. The memory of Melanie Safiade preserved on an answering machine. She vanished in the shadows of a mid-March Sunday's moon when I first heard the news an orange leapt from its bow. There were bees in the flower bed, grass shattered under my feet. The smell of soot and ash clung lightly to the breeze. Her smile fell from a Hong Kong orchid off Market Street. The news first came dead-ended and one way. Eight years of reflection on that day that hoped it was a turn in life. The heroine left on the Texas for Mulberry Drive. The high branches snapped in the old ragged pine when I was lost in an Irish poet's mind. Hearing her voice years since past among this old phone's old messages, I hear myself the day I heard the news. Christianity's eternity became eternally confused. Her long black curtain hair the books piled at her feet, the way philosophy rolled off of her physique. All I hear now when I think of that day is the frail rattle of a noose's sway, pebbles beneath the midnight train. 